Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we spent a bunch of time at the most serene mausoleum, talking to the Deathless and all sorts of other things that I didn't know I could do here. I think I came here to drop off all the red honey that I was smuggling here. If I remember right, it's been a little while since I played. So let's finish at the most serene mausoleum. We're actually not done yet. We started a quest when we heard about a Chamberlain that had disappeared, so let's investigate the Chamberlain's disappearance. No one seems willing to state the obvious, that the Chamberlain's sudden absence is a cause for concern. 45% chance of success, not great. Ah, oh, failure. Missing Chamberlain. Oh, I lost favor, damn. The other Deathless studiously avoid the topic of the Chamberlain's disappearance. Talking around it as one might talk around in delicate matters and polite company. Missing? No, he is indefinitely indisposed. Their polite silence is impossible to break. They change the subject with consummate skill. Perhaps you'll have more luck getting them to open up after more time has passed, and the Chamberlain's continued absence becomes impossible to ignore. So do I need more favor to be able to do this again, or just some time needs to pass? Yeah, I do need some favor. Hmm. Yeah, and I also need time to pass. Is there anything more I can do with the Deathless? I know the Macabre Counselor. Are they the one that told me about the uh, Chamberlain being disappeared? Being disappeared. <laughs> That's a weird way to put it. Oh no, do you have my daughter? Right, they wanted me to get their daughter. Okay, well, I think that's all we can do here then. Yeah, I've got some more gemstones for a pinning prospect. I've had that sense forever, but I'm not getting rid of it because those Navaratine gemstones are worth so freaking much. And I still need eight more frickins of red honey. <laughs> that's gonna have to wait. Okay. Let's head back to London. Back at London. Let's take care of business. Uh, I have full crew. I do actually need to heal one point of my hole. I must have hit something, I guess. Oh, it's going to be so expensive. Three sovereigns. New total, exactly 7,000. God, I'm so rich right now. I got a bunch of crockery dump off into my bank. <laughs> so much crockery. I have so much in my bank. Mm, let's see, I already turned in the port report that I got from the mausoleum. Uh, we need to get another assignment from the Royal Horological Office. Good. Hurry up and tell them that they're living in the past. Oh, this is the same one as last time. You have assignment in Port Prosper. That's going to be a while till I do that. Okay, then we have something big to do in London. We need to... I think I think we're going to open the vault for the Rat Brigade, aren't we? Probably an Explore London thing. Yeah, open Sarge's account for the Rat Brigade. This sounds like it's going to be the end of their story, maybe. The Rat Brigade are ready. Halogis is no match for their tiny, squeaky resolve. The Heart of Commerce. Halogis' central office is a restrained art nouveau building, not far from the ministry. Its girders are curly-cued. Its ornamentations offer a tasteful nod to the clockwork court. Its palette is faded gold, like the afterglow of a sunset. Inside, dark wood furnishings, bronze wood countertops, and comfortable chairs beside verdant potted plants. Anything to make the customer forget that they're dealing with anything so crass as money. They approach the nearest clerk, introduce the rat brigade, and produce the relevant account number. The clerk's eyebrows rise. At Hallages, we measure ourselves by the quality of our clientele, she says, sounding thoroughly miserable. This way, please. The clerk leads you through an interminable series of hallways through offices, studies, and libraries. At last, you arrive at a spiral staircase of wrought iron. You descend flight after flight, the brigade growing heavy on your shoulders. 
Eventually, you emerge into a chamber whose walls are set with many metal doors. The clerk unlocks one and steps aside. Enter Sarge's vault. The rat brigade is silent. The rats follow you in. The clerk smiles. I'll be here if you need me, she says, no doubt ready to summon the guards if anyone puts a whisker out of place. The vault is hewn from the very foundations of London. Mineral deposits glisten in trails along the walls. Iron girders support the stone, enclosing the space within like a cage. That sounds incredibly cool. The vault itself has mineral deposits glistening in the walls? An iron and... That sounds really neat. Further doors extend from the central vault. Each bears a brass plaque with the name of a member of the Rat Brigade. In the center of the vault, a piece of paper rests on a stone... Dace? Days? The note reads in tiny handwriting, I'm sorry. Aw. Whose do I open? Oh my god, there's so many. Well, I guess let's just start from the top and work our way down. Open the door marked Petronella. Petronella is reluctant to open it alone. Don't worry, we're here for you. The toy maker's daughter. The door swings open silently. Good oil on the hinges, Petronella says, her voice betraying a slight tremor. Come on, I've been waiting for this for... Inside is a set of miniature trains, a whole clockwork railway set, commissioned from Icarus and Sons, the renowned toy makers. Petronella examines the set carefully, commenting on the intricacy of the gears, the details of the antique engines. Then she leaves the room empty-handed. Not keeping them. He doesn't get to clear his conscience with a bribe. Albrecht. I would appreciate the company, comrade. Old acquaintances forgot. Albrecht takes a deep breath and bristles his whiskers. All right, after you. The room is empty, but for a card on a wooden table. Albrecht scampers up the table leg and takes the card in his paws. His whiskers twitch as he reads. He squeaks excitedly before remembering himself and feigning a cough. Uh, excuse me. An invitation to a certain house in Eleutheria, suitable for rats of my persuasion. An odd gift, but I've always wanted a visit. And now one day I shall. Excuse me, I'd like a moment alone. Wilma. Cinders nudges you. Best see what was left for her. Moving up. The door's heavy and creaks. Cinder scowls. Never really got on, Sergeant Wilma. Didn't like the back talk. And she thought he was impulsive. In the center of the room is a silver key next to a card bearing an address of a property in an expensive locale. Cinder's pockets both. I'll take these. In case I run into her. <laughs> sure. Okay, so Wilma was the one that I failed to uh, get to come with me at Perdurance. Yeah, it was at Perdurance. Vian. Vian was the one that I could have chosen to take with me. It was either Vian or Angel the Demolition Rat. I forgot what Vian did. Um, oh, I think they were a nurse or a doctor or something like that. Sarge always liked Vian, Albrecht says quietly. A holiday. There are only two things on the dust-covered table inside. A velvet purse containing a few sovereigns and a ticket to Pulmere and Plenty's inconceivable circus. Angel scurries in after you and sniffs the invitation before biting one of the coins. I'll take these. She might want a friendly face to show her around. He looks sincere. What? We got on once. Angel. Angel is practically gnawing at the door. Open it. I want to see. A doctor's appointment. Inside, gathering dust on a small medicine cabinet, is a card and a heavy bag of sovereigns. 
Angel's face falls. It's not bombs. He pokes the purse with a claw. Not even guns. Not even gunpowder. He reads the card. It's for a quack. At Magdalene's. This must be meant for Vianne. He snatches up both. I'll make sure she gets it. He does not meet your eye. What? I'm just concerned for her well-being. The Sarge seem to really know their crew. Like, my god, what? This is a strangely elaborate thing to leave behind. Humphrey. The lieutenant sighs. Do I even want to know? A misguided favor. The room contains nothing but a casket. Inside is a moldering hamster corpse and a deed from Lovelace and Fedlock, pet procurers. The lieutenant reads the deed and snorts. <laughs> this is supposed to be my grandmother. Turns out I am a pedigree after all. He closes the casket firmly. Let's leave. Not like I can make any use of it. That is... grim... Christabel, our long-range gunner. She died on the blockade, says Cinders. Guess Sarge thought she'd make it. A room of one's own. Inside is a collection of faded dolls and a bottle of wine. They're arranged in a circle, as if at a tea party. Christabel was always lonely, says Cinders. But she hated people. Sebastian. Our quartermaster, Albrecht's mate, didn't make it, Cinder says. An occasion that never came. Inside is a golden ring and a set of expensive dishes, complete with several moldering recipe books. The ring has dulled. Cinders closes the door behind you. Best Albrecht doesn't come in. Seamus, our navigator, died getting us off the governor's engine, Cinder says. A yearning unfulfilled. This room contains a permit. It allows one-way travel back through the avid horizon. Cinders crumples the document up. Useless now, she says. And the last one, Cinders. Cinders looks at you. You go in if you want. I'm not giving the basket the satisfaction. Field promotion. The door creaks open. True to her word, Cinders remains outside. Go on. Curiosity kills cats. Not me. Inside is a battered insignia. Two tiny pearl-handled revolvers and a note. The note reads, I'm really sorry. The reverse reads, Take care of them. This has been scribbled out and replaced with Look after them. This too has been crossed out. The final version reads simply, I'm sorry. The insignia is of sergeant rank. Cinders asks you to close the door behind you. Leave the vault. You've seen all you care to of Sarge's bequest. This will bring the story of the Rat Brigade to a close. Lay down your burdens. Cinders calls the squad to order. She mounts the stone dace, kicking away Sarge's note. Now, some of you may think this was a pointless endeavor, that all we found was a broken rat's regrets. Yes, Sarge was not what we believed. He was a right rotten sod. But did he destroy us? No. We're down good rats, aye. But the rest of us are still here, together, now. How many years later? And that's all down to us. There's a chorus of ragged squeaks from the rat brigade. Right you are, boss, the lieutenant shouts. Cinders grins fiercely. Sod, Sarge. We did this. We got back together. Grab what you want, and get back on the engine. She looks up at you. Captain's command now. The ratty reunion will work on your locomotive. <laughs> They've changed from the brigade to the reunion. Gained 4,000 experience, damn. Let's go see, has, like, has their stats changed? Um... Can I talk with them? Ratty Reunion? Yeah, ten hearts now. I forgot exactly what they were before, but... Uh, judging by what happened with the judicious, judicious driver... It looks like their stats get replaced with... 
Yeah, all the stats used to add up to eight for everybody. Two for something and then six for something else. And when they level up, you end up getting ten of one stat instead of like six and two across two stats. So, wow, I have a lot of hearts now. What did I lose, though? Oh, I guess nothing, because I'm not actually using them. Right. Spend time with a ratty reunion. They can be a ride if they're in the mood. I think this is the same as it was before, just with the name changed to ratty reunion. Oh, I'll read this. I'm not sure if this is new or not. The ratty reunion are nostalgic today. Each rat is competing to tell the most gruesome story of their past exploits. The time they infiltrated Sweet Jane's Banquet at Port Prosper. The Twilight Rendezvous in the ruins of Port Avon. The brief alliance with a parsimonious chairman on the Albertine Expanse. Limbs are brandished, scars are counted, wounds, emotional and physical, are licked. I'm at the smuggling operation near London now, the Wit and Finnegar Lumber Company. I'm going to do something that's probably a bit surprising. So what I did in the Reach was explore everything 100% before I went to Albion. I'm not going to do the same here for Albion because coming up on April 9th is a pretty big update for this game called, I think it's like the Wayfarer update. And among the things it's going to do is it's going to have a pretty big overhaul of Albion. It's going to change a lot of the geography and change how certain things look as well. So everything is going to be different than it is right now in Albion. And I think the whole map is going to be reset. So I think just exploration of the map. I'm sure all the story stuff will still be the same. But uh, yeah, given that, given that I'm have, going to have to re-explore it and they're going to be improving and changing it, I feel like I shouldn't explore the rest of this place. You know, because I've explored... Maybe about half, maybe a little bit more than half of Albion. So I was going to explore the rest, but I think I'm actually going to go to Eleutheria now and then come back to Albion after the Wayfarer update and see how things have changed and then explore the rest of it. So, to do that, or, well, not, this isn't to do it, but just to make money along the way, let's do some smuggling. There is actually a prospect to smuggle seven trunks of illicit literature to Aklis, which is in its east-southeast of Pan, and Pan is the central hub area of Eleutheria. So this is an Eleutheria, but I can't actually fit seven illicit literature. I can only fit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't finish that, and you get a huge bonus when you completely finish a smuggling prospect. So I think I'd rather do... The Lustrum one, which is five trunks, which I can definitely do. Yeah, so let's just grab this one. Do that one on my way back to the Eleutheria relay station, which is in the Reach. I should actually buy the illicit literature before I forget. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't fit more, right? Because, like, this would give me some more space, but I don't have iron 50 plus. Is there somebody I can put on my ship that would give me iron 50 plus? Ah, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm already going to be smuggling one thing. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, let's head back to the Reach. Hello. Damn, I must have been really close to a level up. That's rubbish in the kitchens. Two supplies, nice. We have a royal horological quest in Port Prosper, don't we? 
I remember saying, I remember this episode saying, ha, not gonna do that for a while. Well, I forgot I have to go through here to get to Eleutheria, so we're gonna do it right now. But first... Oh, the Grand Ball's going on? Um... Oh, I already have a port report from this place, right? Sure, it's a ton of Grand Ball. Gossip with the servants, is this a thing that's gonna give me a shit ton of crockery? No, four savage secrets. Now let's investigate the clocks. The central port clock is fast. It has also been vandalized by protesters against Albion's standard time. No time like the present has been scrawled over the clock face. <laughs> That's the same description. Taking out all your tools, etc., etc. Sabotage. 79% chance of success. Success. Time keeps on slipping, you make sure of it. Metaphorical wrench here, literal one there, shortening that pendulum a fraction of an inch. The port will remain on its local time independent from London's. As for the pieces left over, you're sure you can find good use for them elsewhere. Lost five strength of the sun, new total five. Man, I've gotten my strength of the sun so low. That might be a good thing, I'm really not sure. Anything else to do here? I guess just see if they have a deal going on? Oh, I do need to buy some fuel and supplies and whatnot. Yeah, actually, it's going to take up most of my space. A couple munitions? Sure. And I'm off to Lustrum. Oh, I think Attack needs some help. That wasn't very effective. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, I thought that would blow them up. They're on fire. Rummage of the kitchens, sure. Two supplies. Oh, right, I don't have any space. What did I just get? Uh, I don't know. I think a supply? I'll dump a fuel. Oh, there's a marauder here too. For that, so let's raid the hold. Triple lock case. Oh, that's an item as well. Caged catch. Oh, that's definitely worth keeping. Let's get rid of a supply. Feels worth less, but I already have enough supplies. All right. Glad to help. Whatever your name is. What are you shooting at? Explore the captain's cabin. Salon sued gossip. Looks like they're very intensely looking at something, but I don't know what. Pretty good maneuvering on my part, I think. That felt good. Captain's cabin, some more salon stewed gossip. And we have a wreck over here, too. 
It's always fun to see these things' names. The Vigs. Signal the wreck. Gain two supplies. At Lustrum now. Let's join the celebrations with the mountain sings. Reduce my terror. Let's get a port report. And I do actually still have some terror, so I guess I'll go ahead and visit the tea shop. Now it's at zero. Let's have Empress's flavor. Oh, actually, I should have had Eleutherian gold. It's only appropriate, huh? Let's finish the prospect. 1375 just from selling them themselves, plus a bonus of a thousand. Reputation 3 with the smugglers. I'm now a star slink. That's a nice name. Oh, they got bronze wood as a bargain. Heck yeah. Give me all of that. Oh yeah, let's also go to, uh, was it sweet? Yeah, sweet Jane. We have a lot of name plates. I have nine. I guess I'll just trade them all in for sovereigns. Yeah, let's do that. 450 sovereigns. I think that's all there is to do here. Did we have somebody to drop off here? I think we maybe did, and then they died along the way, so we needed to like take their body back to Port Prosper or something. Uh, I mean, the option would be here if it was a thing I could do, right? So, yeah. Okay, off to, uh, well, I guess I might as well go to New Winchester. And then over to the Relay. Yeah, so I'll see you at Winchester. New Winchester, that is. In anticipation of going to Eleutheria, let's get suited up for it at New Winchester. So I've just repaired my hole, which actually I probably shouldn't have done, because I'm going to get rid of all my hidden compartment stuff. No reason to really have that on me, because I'm not going to be carrying any contraband to Eleutheria, and I could always equip it in Eleutheria if I wanted to. I'm assuming Eleutheria has a bank just like everywhere else. Pretty sure every place has a bank. They should have one at Pan. Um. Uh, oh, right. Explore. Bank. There we go. So yeah, let's toss all this hidden compartment stuff. Not the fuel. I've actually got some fuel and supplies stored up. Oh, I didn't know that. Take all of it. Let's get rid of that, and then in its place, we're going to have a lot of armor. And I guess more crew might as well. Cramped quarters for more crew. Yeah, so now we need to recruit more people and repair once again. Full health. Get some more people. Oh, I, whoops, I pressed a few crew. Oh, I actually ended up getting four anyway. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to get resupplied along the way to Eleutheria. So they sell supplies here. They don't sell anything here, right? Yeah. Hmm. So I guess I should focus on supplies and then hit up the circus. Or no, focus on fuel. Hit up the circus to get more supplies. Uh, remember that I can't. Um, I can't come back through the Eleutheria relay for a while. Is what it said. Didn't specify how long, but I'm going to make sure I take everything I need with me because I can't just turn around and go back simply. Yeah, so I'm actually going to dump some of these supplies back in. There we go. More fuel and supplies. I don't think I need to bring anything with me other than that. I forgot what I needed exactly to get through the relay. So I just looked up um, 
what it costs to get a travel permit to Eleutheria and then to actually travel to Eleutheria. Just looked it up on the wiki because I couldn't remember. I've already been to the relay, but I, it's been so long I didn't remember exactly what I needed. Yeah, there's two ways to buy a permit and also two ways to travel there. So I'm going to go with the, the way of getting a permit where I give them the literature. That's going to save me some money. Um, so that'll actually get me the thing. And then I think to travel there, I'm going to give them like Savage Secrets or something like that. Something that I don't need to actually carry in my hold. So I think that's it. That should be everything we need. Let's go. The circus is the last place to resupply before the relay. Let's get our terror all the way down. Listen to their stories. 0% now. Collect some free tickets. Write a port report. Oh, that's not the right one. Port report. Attend a performance. Four sky stories and a vision of the heavens. And let's resupply. Okay. Right, well we have a tackety guest that's trying to attack me as I've just gone past, past Faith's Fall. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going and see if it can catch me. I hope it can't. Ah, fuck. Did not want to go into Eleutheria with whole damage. Hi, I'm just gonna try to ignore everything. I don't want to be hurt. Looks like the guest has left me alone. But yeah, the guest's attacks go really far and really fast. Uh, oh god, I almost hit that. Okay. Safety. Take some shore leave. Let's reduce our terror. It's at 8%. Join the crew in their song. It's at 3% now. Let's get uh, a sample of Hybris Pus. Okay. Get a port report. And I think that's it. Yeah. On to the relay. Oh no, that's a guess too. I think I could tell because it has that like weird glow around it. I don't think they normally have that. Oh, what the hell is going on? I think that thing has a, is a guess too. Maybe it's like all red. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the hell is going on? Jesus fucking Christ! Feels like the Reach is trying to stop me from going to Eleutheria. This is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to go to Eleutheria.